What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the add seconds function in the date and time functions. So add seconds is kind of what it sounds like. It's the ability to add seconds onto a, um, a timestamp or a, an input of time um, and then you can get the corresponding output of how many seconds after um, it is and what that time now is. So you put in a timestamp, you add some seconds and you get the output of what that answer should be. It also has the ability to format the um, the string as well, so the timestamp for you to gain out into a certain format. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate here, uh, I have a manual trigger flow with a number input, but we're just trying to ignore the number input here. We got our compose action. So we'll click into compose, we'll click over to expressions, and we'll scroll down until we get to the date and time functions. Excuse me. Um, right, so we're now, now down at date and time, and we can see the add seconds uh, function here. And this has three parameters. This has timestamp, seconds, and format with a question mark. So what that means is we can pass in a timestamp, so pass in a, a time to base time to start from, pass in the number of seconds to add onto that initial timestamp. And the reason why format has a question mark is that the format is an optional part of this function, meaning you don't actually have to include it. Um, if you do include it, you need to have it in a certain format so that you can output in the right way. So as we hover over, it says adds an integer number of seconds to a string timestamp uh, time stamp passed in. So if we just show this working as a base now, so we'll click add seconds. Now we need a timestamp to pass in, so I'm actually going to pass in the UTC now. Um, and then we're going to add a comma after that and we'll add on about 300 seconds. So what this does is this is going to add um, 300 seconds onto the current time that we've got. So we'll click OK, goes in there, and we will test this. So I'll perform the trigger action, save and test, run the flow, click done, run successfully, and we can see the time. So the time currently um, is uh, about uh, 10.53. So this is adding on about four minutes onto the time here. And that's what we've got. So uh, I wonder if uh, there is, no, there's no timestamp there. Uh, but we can kind of add that in another step. I kind of want to show you everything in one step because this functionality is available as an action um, to add time to something, but um, that only allows you to do one thing, whereas a function allows you to do multiple things inside the same step, uh, whereas the, the other uh, actions allow you to do a single thing in each step, which is very useful, but it splits everything out, and especially if you have really large flows, it can become problematic. Uh, or you know, hard to hard to maintain. So this allows you to do multiple things inside a single action, a single function. So if we click into here, uh, what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to give it a format. So you can format the output of this string, um, and Flow will work with anything that is in the ISO uh, standard uh, 8601 for timestamping. So you can pass in a, a, a format um, according to that standard and it'll output um, that format uh, in the output. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use my keyboard buffer uh, and I'm going to paste in something that I did earlier. So if I add a comma there, so what this is doing, so I've, I've had to put it inside single quotation marks but this is the format that I want it to output in. I want to output in year, 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 um, dash, month, month, dash, day, day, with a time of hour, hour, colon, minute, minute, um, and then second, second. So what I'm expecting to see is year, month, day, hour, minute, second, and then we're not gonna have any of the milliseconds or microseconds or you know any of the other seconds on there. So click update hover over, we can see it's updated, that's all good. So we'll test it again. So test, save and test, run flow, click done, 
and here so we can see this is much shorter than the previous time we ran this so the previous time we had another call on all the sec all the milliseconds and then uh, z for zulu on the end um, but we can see we formatted it in just this way so this allows me to format the input string as well as get the time as well as add the seconds all in a single step and no longer requiring multi steps or multi actions inside Microsoft um, Power Automate through the Microsoft Flow. Flow. Um, so that's why this is actually so powerful and why I wanted to do videos on the date and time functions separate from the date and time actions inside Microsoft Flow. Actions, I think, are good if you need one off timestamps. Um, functions are good if you need to do multiple um, calculations and multiple formatting inside um, a single flow. And that's where I would use them. But as always, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments down below um, what you guys use this for. Um, do you um, regularly put timestamps on? Do you need to add time onto things? Do you need to, you know, what do you need to do with these? I always want to know. So let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please like and please um, share this video with your friends. It's always appreciated. And uh, if you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time.